On the top menu of eDrawings, the leftmost button is the Select tool. Hovering the cursor over a part will display that component name. Dragging a box in space to the left will select all parts being touched by the bound. And dragging to the right selects parts fully enveloped by the selection box. The pan button allows for the model to be moved around the screen. The rotate button allows for rotation around a fixed point and can be mimicked by holding in the scroll wheel on your mouse. The zoom button allows zooming by clicking and dragging the cursor up and down within the display. Zooming can also be accomplished by scrolling with the mouse scroll wheel. The Zoom to Area feature allows you to zoom in by drawing a box to act as the bounds. If at any time you would like to return to the original isometric view, click the Reset button in the lower left corner of the screen. The View Orientation button on the top menu bar allows for right, left, top, and bottom views to be selected as well as isometric views. The display button allows you to choose from shade it, shade it with edges, and wireframe styles. On the bottom menu, choosing the explode button on the left will separate all components automatically into an exploded view. The move button allows you to free drag any component from the assembly into a desired space by clicking and dragging. The components button on the bottom right will open a menu listing all parts within the assembly. Subassemblies are shown with an arrow to the left of the part name. Clicking on any part in the list will highlight it on the screen and can be isolated using the Isolate button. The Section button on the lower left will help open up a cross-sectional view. The direction of the plane can be changed using the XY, YZ, or XZ plane buttons. The View Normal to Plane button will zoom in and focus on that plane's view, and the direction of the view can be switched with the Flip button.